as election commission you were asked about the possibility of some of its polls as well as uh, what will be the requirement of the commission we had uh, furnished all the requirements like what amendments will be needed in the constitution what amendments will be needed in the representation of people side and what will be the logistical issues mm. once the legal framework is in place mm. uh, since legal framework has not yet been in place so commission is continuing uh, holding elections whenever uh, these fall due like very recently madhya pradesh rajasthan chhattisgarh mizoram and now telangana mm. fall due so commission is going ahead with uh, holding the polls for these states mm. actually uh, there are two aspects to this whole thing one is what uh, you are saying that is really good because it helps that if election commission allocates air time telecast time all those things it will give some support to all those parties which are not able to get the uh, contributions from corporate centers but the other aspect is check on uh, abuse of money there it will fail miserably because your money whatever you are distributing maybe just about uh, 15 lakhs 20 lakhs per constituency when people spend 90 crores per constituency what this would be electoral integrity perception suffers only on these two counts otherwise we are among the top of the world democracy this harvard university electoral integrity index there we are suffering we are in moderate integrity because of two reasons one is this campaign finance or money political funding and another is media management whether it is uh, print electronic social or any in these two sectors we score just passing marks like 34 and 37 out of 100 and we are still uh, grappling as to how to improve on this like for political funding take for example commission feels that uh, all contributions to the political parties should be through uh, digital means no cash in assembly you can spend 28 lakhs and in parliament you can spend 70 lakhs not more but party can spend 50 crores 70 crores on one constituency that really disturbs the level playing field and if you cap that things will improve evms malfunction is not of that kind that if you press one button vote goes to us mm-hmm. it is never of that kind what malfunction takes place is that it doesn't work mm-hmm. it goes in error mode or ballot doesn't load something like that and that's why we re- replace those and in this new machine voter verify paper audit trail it's a printer so at times like in your uh, own printer at times it may happen that the paper gets stuck and it doesn't print those kind of malfunction what example you gave those examples are figments of imagination never happened anywhere and all these allegations have been squarely and comprehensively answered by election commission in our evm status paper which is in public domain on our website we found that there are many factors affecting this like in karnataka election we found the lowest voting in bangalore there is no divide there in fact it is it hub of our country uh, youngsters uh, with it background and all being there is still voting percentage was 52% 54% despite all our efforts so we analyzed and we found that there are many factors one is that 